Welcome to Dominator TV, episode 14, where we're going to debut the very first fix and flip for Keith and Dave. Let's go through the house and see what we're working with. So what year was this built, Keith? 1920? 1927, and apparently that flagpole's from 1927 too. So as you can see, we have an all original front porch. Uh, looks like somebody fell through the roof, and we're gonna have to go back and fix that, as well as pressure wash and sandblast all of this siding that has been. Hang up a nice new swing set there, or I'm sorry, porch swing. We'll level out these floors a little bit, put some new sealer on, maybe, I don't know, redo the pillars and posts, think about screening it in. What do you think? I think Nice rocking chair furniture. As you come into the house, you'll see that we have some 1970s-esque wood paneling that we get to rip down. But the wonderful thing about this house is that whoever owned it before actually went through and replaced all of the windows with what looks like maybe 2010 uh, double pane windows. Is that a good guess? I'd say so. Okay, so we have original hardwood floors. They are covered in cat piss at the moment, but we are in the process of removing said cat piss. Next challenge, to uncover all of the damaged ceiling tiles and replace them with our brand new boxes of ceiling tiles, as well as fix all the trim on the walls, um, sort of sand and resurface all the floors that are original hardwoods and then we get to do the hard work which will be drywall. So I think right now our current goal is to just rip all the panel down and replace it with quarter inch drywall, drywall or half inch drywall. We'll see how that goes as time goes on. Obviously this hallway is ugly because somebody decided to rip the wallpaper off and we're actually standing on nothing but subfloor. So we have I'd estimate 600 square feet plus the kitchen of what we actually have to to put new floor down on top of. So in here it looks like they've already had some wood rot around the windows. They've replaced it with plywood. Once again we're going to tear everything off the walls, put up sheetrock, finish the closets, make it look purdy. Does anybody want to buy a clawfoot tub? Because we got one. We're going to sell that some, but some gun right there. Going to completely redo the bathroom, hopefully put a standing shower with a tub combo, maybe some tile around it, but Keith wants to keep that little window. I think it would look good with a bigger, bigger window, but who knows. Here we have the most finished room of the house. This is probably going to be the room that actually gets rented out. Someone was nice enough to go ahead and box in a closet for us, so all we have to do is throw some sheetrock up on that, rip off this panel, put some new sheetrock up, and if you look really close at the top of these panels, some idiot actually overlapped them and didn't even get them straight. Can you believe that? Ridiculous. So the whole house needs ceiling work. We're gonna basically go through, smooth out what we can, replace the ceiling tiles in here. And are you ready to show them the hardest part of the house? I'm ready, Dave. Let's go. We're just going to redo the whole damn thing. The kitchen, I mean, uh, let's, let's look at the floor key and let's show them this right here. I can actually take the linoleum and rip it up with my hands. That's how old this is. These cabinets are literally just a sledgehammer away from being out of here. So we're going to rip everything out. We're going to find something cool to do with this. Um, this used to be an out, kind of an out pipe that went through the roof for the old wood burning stove that they had. So we've got to find a way to make that look pretty. <laughs> and we've got to find a way to make the back of the house look pretty. So, in conclusion, we've estimated $20,000 to fully remodel this house, not with a, maybe a craftsman touch, but a livable touch. We don't want to go 100% top of the market, hunter ceiling fans and <laughs> Kohler, what do you call it? Color, uh, 
Kohler plumbing fixtures. We're going to be looking at salvage stores. We're going to be looking at discount markets, trying to find building materials as well as fixtures for cheap. We're going to try to match them as urbanly as possible, but keep the stately presence of the home. We believe that we can do this within $20,000. The purchase price of the house was $27,000, putting us at about 47 to 50 in, and we want to try to sell it as close to 90,000 as possible. Does that sound right, Keith? That sounds great, Dave. For more videos just like this and to see the updates on Athens Pike, check out the next suggested video right here. I'll see you over there.